Hey everyone, Chang here and welcome to my channel. This is the bare minimum algebra series. Today we are going to be talking about adding and subtracting terms. If any of these vocabulary that I'm using is confusing, I did release a previous video which is the difference between terms, expressions, and equations. And if you're not sure what this series is all about, there is also an introductory video that you should check out and the purpose of the following videos that are to come. So let's talk about adding and subtracting terms. Now, remember terms are either numbers or a combination of numbers and letters or basically numbers and variables. So basically, Five is a term, six a is a term, seven x squared are still terms. These individual ones are known as terms. Now, the importance of adding and subtracting terms is basically used mainly for problems where they ask you to simplify an expression or they ask you to combine like terms, which we're gonna explain in a little more details in a bit. All right, so before I give you the step-by-step -step on how you can add and subtract terms, here's a warning. You only can do that if you are adding or subtracting like terms. They use the word like, some of them say similar terms. The concept is fairly simple, even though the vocabulary is a little confusing. If you have two numbers, you can always add or subtract them. Fairly simple, if you have six, nine, seven, 1,000 whatsoever, right? You can always add or subtract them to each other, right? Now, the other thing is if you have variables, for example, well, let's just use the L to look like variables, right? If you have two variables, you can still always add and subtract them together. The caveat is that they have to be the same variable. So if you had uh, A, and another a you can add them together if you had b subtract b you can add them together or subtract them together right so on and so forth however if you have a plus b or i guess you could say a minus b right you really cannot technically add or subtract them or combine them in any way they're just going to be stuck like that so be very careful the answer of course for this is going to be 2a and this one's going to be 0b or just zero in case you guys are wondering, right? So there's that. Now, the last one is if it's a combination of numbers and letters, once again, they have to be the exact same variable. So if it's a combination of numbers and letters, numbers and letters, the numbers can be different, right? You're not always gonna be stuck with 2a plus 2a. You can have 2a plus 3a, which results in 5a, so on and so forth, right? However, bear in mind that if it's two different variables, so for example, 4a plus 6b, you really can't combine it in any way. Hopefully you can see this on camera. Um, and the other thing that is a caveat is that it may be the same variable, but if they happen to be different in terms of having a different exponent, you really can't combine them either. So let's just say, for example, 3x minus 4x squared, right? Even though the variables are x, you can't combine them because this one happens to be a square and this one is not. So that's what it means when it says that you, if you wanna add and subtract, you only can add and subtract if they are like terms or basically similar terms. All right, so now that we got the warning out of the way, basically all the different cases of when you really can't add or subtract the terms, right, you can put them right next to each other, you can still have the addition sign and the subtraction sign right next to each other, but you really can't do more than that, right? We're gonna focus now on the different cases of when you can actually basically add and subtract them. You can combine them, you know, hence the terms combine like terms, right? The first one is when they're both numbers, right? That's just simple arithmetic. If they're both numbers, six plus seven, you know it's 13, right? And if you're not, then we need to practice arithmetic more. I do have videos on that. You can definitely check those out, right? So fairly simple. And then of course, subtraction, same thing. If you had, let's just say 14 minus three, you just carry it out as normal, 
That's case one. All right, so let's talk about case two. That's where it's a little more interesting. And this is the case when both are variables or some combination of number and variable. Now, here's the caveat. Remember that the variable itself must be the same. So basically, if you're talking about A, the other one you're adding has to be only talking about A. It can't be A squared, it can't be B or C or so on and so forth, right? They have to be exactly the same. Now, once you meet that criteria, there's two steps. Add or subtract, I should have put them together, right? The coefficient, basically the numbers in front of the variable, right? And leave the variable alone. It's one of the common mistakes, which I'm gonna talk about in a little bit, so you'll see what I mean, right? So that's the first step, add or subtract the coefficient and leave the variable alone. Now, the second one is an if case, right? If there is no coefficient in front of the variable, basically no number in front of the variable, it looks like just the variable itself, just A, just B, just X, Y, Z, right? You're gonna assume there is a number one in front of it, and then go back to step one and carry it out accordingly. So let's look at some examples of what I mean by that. All right, so I'm gonna leave the rules here. Hopefully you guys can see them and I don't cover them too much, right? Once again, let's just start off with the first example. Add the coefficient and leave the variable alone. What I mean by that is this. For example, if you have 3x plus 4x. Great, variables are the same, excellent. These are the coefficient, the number in front of the variable. So what you do, is you're gonna go and you're just gonna add the coefficient and leave the variable alone. What I mean by that is, well, here's a three, here's a four. Three plus four is seven. So we're gonna just put seven right here. Let me just hot put the marker so you know what I'm talking about. There it is. And you leave the variable alone. Now, what that means is you just put it right there. Don't do anything fancy with it. I've seen situations where someone would go three X plus four X equals, okay, well, I'm gonna add these two. That's seven, great. And then all of a sudden the X, what do I do? Is it two X, is it X squared? Because I'm technically adding the X together. No, leave it alone. So it's not this, it's not this, right? None of that, please do not make that mistake, all right? So that's what you would do in a situation where basically you have coefficients in front of the variable. So here is the usage of the second step. Now, 4x minus x squared, let's start. Just kidding, right? Because it's x and x squared, so technically you can't do anything. I just wanted to see if you guys can actually see that. Now, in order to correct this problem, of course, all we have to do is x squared. Now the variables are the same and you can actually add or subtract them. In this case, it's just a subtraction, right? So here we have a coefficient, that's great. The variables are the same, that's great. Here, there is nothing in front of the x squared. It's just an x squared. So based on the second step and if, right, no number in front of the variable, we're gonna assume a one. Then you go back to step one. Fairly simple, right? So in this case, you're now just gonna add or subtract the coefficient. Well, you have four minus one. So in this case, if we combine these guys, we just have three. And once again, please, please, please leave the variable alone. So basically you have x squared. So we're just gonna put an x squared there. And this is our final answer. All right, so there you have it. The first very simple steps on how you can add and subtract terms. Once again, this is usually used for situations where they're either asking you to simplify expressions or they're specifically asking you to combine like terms or as a tool to make you know complicated math. Now, here's the key takeaway. Once again, you can either combine two numbers together, two variables together, or a variable number combination only if the variables is exactly the same. So if it's exponent is different, don't combine it. If it's exponent is the same, then that's fine, right? X squared, X squared, that's fine. Y cubed, Y cubed, that's fine. Any of those work, but make sure that they're the same variables, same basically exponent in if it's applicable. And then afterwards you follow the simple step. First and foremost, once again, you're adding and subtracting the coefficient. You're leaving the variables completely alone. Plain and simple. The second thing is that if situations, which will occur for sure, right? 
there is no coefficient in front of the variables. Just assume that it is a one in front because technically that is true. That's exactly what it is. And then you carry out the operations accordingly. So hopefully this breaks it down into really simple case by case, step by step on how you can deal with adding and subtracting terms. If you haven't already, please like, comment and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.